every year, the B BYU hosts the Rocky Mountain March and Invitational, where high schools across Utah go head to head on the Val Edwards Stadium. Allie O'Rulian is live at the stadium to tell us how this year's competition was extra challenging. Allie? I'm live at Lavelle Edwards Stadium where BYU hosts the Rocky Mountain Marching Invitational. And despite the weather, nothing can rain on this parade. It's raining. <laughs> it's pouring. The judges keep scoring. Hats on their heads, no music read, and performances far from boring. The Rocky Mountain Marching Invitational hosts high school marching bands across Utah to perform in Lavelle Edwards Stadium. It's seriously an unreal feeling performing for a live stadium. And with 22 bands competing this year in four different size divisions, so thank you for flying Cedar Valley Airlines. The pressure is on. And band members are feeling pretty similar. Nervous and excited. Nervous, but really excited. Last year, COVID canceled the event, but this year, not even the rain is stopping the schools. But it does pose a challenge. Performing in the rain is a little bit tough just because it's cold and wet, but I think it also just makes us extra excited to be here. <laughs> Adjudicators judge bands in six different ways, ranging from music to visuals to percussion. And at the end of the night, seven awards will be given within each division. Winning is just extra validation that they have worked hard, they do deserve to be here. BYU's own marching band performs at the end of the night, showing high schools what a high-level collegiate marching band looks like. Parents watch and support in the stands as temperatures dip below 40 degrees and the rain keeps pouring. It's cold, but they did great. But the awards Ridline. and the experience makes it all worth it. If you want a piece of this performance, BYU's marching band is performing November 3rd at the Dijon Concert Hall. Live for Universe Live, I'm Ali Arulian.